Hey guys, welcome back to another Switch 001 video. And no, it's a Max. Yeah. Today we're going to talk about the 737 Max 10, which is a plane that Boeing kind of revealed a few days ago. Now let's talk a bit about the 737 Max overall. Now, if you have been alive for the last five years or so, then you obviously must have heard something about the new updated version of the 737, which is an entire new family, and that's called called the Max family. The first Max plane that was around was the 737 Max 8, which we talked about a lot on this channel already. There's also a 7X, a 9er, and a 10, which this one is. The Max 10 is the biggest one out of the family, and as you can tell, it's really, really, it's actually big. This is not a small aircraft anymore, is it? Now, the thing is, obviously, there has been a huge controversy about the Max family overall, since there were two crashes of the 737 Max 8 in one year. So right now, the 737 Maxes are all grounded. So they're not allowed to take off. Which is why they unveiled the 737 Max 10 quite low key. <laughs> uh, that's a very visco expression, but yeah. You can definitely tell that Boeing is really not proud of the 737 MAX series. But Boeing still wants to deliver more 737 MAXs. This is September, actually. Did I say September? I mean December. What the hell am I talking about? And yes, this Boeing 737 MAX 10 is uh, gonna have its first flight quite soon. You know what? Let's just go ahead and fly this thing out of Lukla. It's probably not going to survive. Now, yeah, I've talked about this before. There are not too many differences between the max and the not max the new generation which includes the 800 the 700 and the uh, 900s for example you can definitely tell here the engines are um i don't know how you really call it but they're refilled like i actually forgot the expression but it helps making the engine quieter now, also, we have a newly designed winglet. There are a few regular 737s that have those winglets, mostly flying for TUI. To conclude that. Now let's take a look into the cockpit. The thing is, this is not a very good add-on aircraft. This is really not a good aircraft, as you can see right here. We have an old, regular 737, a new generation cockpit. But yeah, in another simulator, I have a proper 737 MAX 8, which is very accurately developed. And there we can really take a look at the cockpit and everything like that. Alrighty, we're gonna want to use the uh, whole runway, because this is not a long runway. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 we're actually kind of, oh, sinking into the, oh, okay, let's turn around, oh, that's a 180 there, let's go ahead and do a full power takeoff now, let's try to get this butter bird into the sky, there we go, 90 knots, that's actually, oh, that's not too good, oh, oh no, 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 that's the 737 max for you, so that was a regular 737 max takeoff, just kidding, now yeah, the actual point of the 737 max is kind of having newly designed engines, when you really compare the 737 MAX to a normal 737 side by side, you see that these engines are way thicker. They even have thicker rims, as you can see right here. I don't know if they're actually called rims, but I'm just going to call them that. Let's do a little looping, because that's what uh, uh, everyone wants to see. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Now, obviously, the biggest issue of the 737 MAX series is the, uh, is the MCAS system, which is the stall prevention system that can can be found in many modern airliners. No, 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 no. MCAS is basically what caused the two fatal crashes before. Ah. No, 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 no. The good thing is that we cannot really crash an FSX. What is it doing? <laughs> you can only make hard landings. That's what I would call it. Now, yeah, during the last months, Boeing seemed to have fixed all those MCAS software issues. But still, people really cannot trust this aircraft anymore, which I can understand but would not agree on. I still think that the 737 MAX is a good aircraft. Now, yeah, let's see what the 737 MAX 8 looks like, which was the first MAX to actually be released. So let's step into the other simulator that is so much better than FSX. Right, so here we are in the other simulator 
in a 737 Max. But yeah, we can see the same redesigns, kind of. We have the uh, new winglets here as well. Same with the new engines. So now this is the cockpit, and this is where we have most probably the uh, most significant change. Now, just a minute ago, you were able to see the cockpit of the regular 737. This is the new cockpit, the Max. It looks pretty nice, I would say. As you can see right here, we have very thick screens. We can also find those screens in the, uh, you know, the 787 and in the 777X, for example. This is basically Boeing's new design when it comes to cockpits. I don't know. Now, another thing that helps you differentiate the 737 to a Max is this weird bump. We can only find that one on the Max and not on the regular 737. That's basically all that is to the 737. It's not that much redesign. It's not that much change. It's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like switching from an iPhone 10 to an iPhone 10s Max. Got him. Because the name Max, yeah, whatever. So, yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.